right, gang, welcome to Affinity Designer. So this week's tutorial comes to us from our Facebook group. Somebody in the Facebook group asked, can Affinity Designer apply textures the same way that a 3D program can apply textures? And the short answer is no, because unfortunately Affinity Designer is a 2D program. But I'm gonna show you a way you can fake it out into doing almost what's 2.5D for those that are familiar with ZBrush. All right, to do this, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make a stone wheel. So in order to do this, let's go ahead and hold shift and create a wheel. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to shrink down the middle of this wheel because I want a lot of surface area to work with. All right, perfect. Now let's go ahead and center this bad boy up and we've got our donut. Now you see the layers panel up here where it's highlighted blue it says donut. All right, next step, we're going to come in and in your downloads, I've placed an image for the rock texture that I got from pexels.com. Again, anybody that's been paying attention for any length of time knows Pexels is awesome. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to plug this into the wheel. So let's look at our structure. Rock texture inside the donut. Now, this is where the magic begins. Add a pixel layer, drag it down inside the donut, but above the rock texture. All right, that's key to this effect. Now, let's go ahead and go to our pixel persona. So in the pixel persona, we're going to grab a brush. And now I'm going to make this pixel persona. This is key. We're going to go ahead and we're going to move this over to darkened. Now the brush that I'm going to choose is a spray paint brush. And I'm going to choose something, maybe this spray six. All right. Now I'm going to right bracket my brush up a little bit and I'm going to start brushing. Now you're saying, Jeremy, that doesn't look really good. Watch this. With the pixel layer selected, come over to your effects, change the bevel and emboss, and now crank this guy up just a little bit and up the opacity. You'll see what it just did to the texture of this rock. Now when I begin to paint, I'm going to go ahead and bracket this down just a little bit. You'll see that where I begin to paint, it begins to chip away. This is going to give you that nice 2D look, I should say 2.5D look, of paint or clay being added in. Now you can absolutely change things like color. So let's go ahead and make it just a little bit darker. And you can change in some of the colors. You can change your brush size if you want. I can change the brush size to make it kind of go like this. And if you wanted to play with it, you could always adjust the radius to get that nice effect there in terms of whatever it is you really want it to look like. We'd go all the way to crazy. We could go all the way to subtle. But you see how now this is creating that really nice 2D texture. Now, let me show you one last thing, theoretically, you could do with it. So if you're good with this and you like it, this is all you have to do. Put the pixel layer in, change it over to darken, paint on it. You're good to go. Now, if you want to go for bonus points, you could go to the donut, you could go to the effects, and you could create a 3D donut. Now, when I do this, you see how the donut changes a little bit? I come over to the cog, and now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab a profile. I'm going to find a profile that I really like. Now, I really like that profile. That looks super sweet. But now, you see what it did to the detail on that bevel? I now have to come back to my layer, I have to come back to my pixel layer, I have to come back to my effect, and now I have to start messing with the bevel and the 3D again because the 3D kind of threw off the lighting a little bit. Now let's check this out. No texture, 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 no texture. You see how you can definitely apply this technique and it's a trick. It's a pixel layer with an effect on it on top of your image to get the right blend mode. All right, that's it for today. Go ahead, give it a thumbs up if you liked the video. If you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And if there's something you want to know how to do in Affinity Designer, go ahead and hit me up at the link below. And we'd love to do a tutorial for you to help you in Affinity Designer. All right, let's go ahead and get after it and create.